Hey everyone, it's Amanda again, and I just want to do a quick video with you guys. Right now, I'm just a wreck, so I thought it would be nice to just show you my beautiful artwork sign, Walk by Faith. And of course, if you are a believer, you, you might already know that it's Walk by Faith, not by Sight. So I love this. This is um, hanging up in my bedroom, and um, I also have this one that says, let go and let God and I have this awesome cross um my camera gets a little blurry sometimes if I zoom out here I love my cross so sorry if it's a little blurry but I've had that thing for years now and I just absolutely love it so um I'm still in my cast so like I said um they order this for four weeks and I am begging God that I do not have to have a round two or anything like that so um, I have been I have been receiving dreams from God um, I know it's kind of my baskets messy but I also have um, and it's called a rolling knee scooter so I have my purse and all kinds of stuff in there it's like easy to access that way <laughs> but um, that helps me get around um, without putting any weight on this foot because as you see um, if you were to walk on this thing, it's not going to keep your bones very stable that are repairing in the process of healing. So they want me to basically, I put my knee up on that scooter. It's got like a couple little seats on it. So it was about $150 from, um, a medical supply store. So, um, hopefully you'll never ever need one, but if you ever do, it's been a blessing to have it during the recovery process. But, of course, I'm praying to Jesus to, um, <laughs> that I won't have to use it much longer. So, of course, it's always better to be walking. So, um, especially, like I told you guys, I have a baby and a lot of responsibility. And I'm looking very much forward to getting back into serving the church and being able to sit at church uh, because the process of getting ready for church, going to church, and sitting there with my foot down like this, having nowhere to rest it, is quite hard because um, really the foot wants to be elevated when it's in a cast like because it starts to swell sometimes. It's painful, and it's always better for it to be at rest. Um, of course, you do have to get a little activity, but that's just a little info. So I've been watching church at home. Um, I have been taking communion every day. And having faith that um, it's aiding in the healing process. Jesus said, do this in remembrance of me. So I ordered um, juice and little wafers off Amazon and little cute cups. And I said, I'm just going to take communion myself in remembrance of what Jesus did for me. Dying on the cross and his body was broken. His blood was shed. And uh, that's what I do. And I say, God, you know, you gave your son and Jesus' body was broken for me and for all the all of his people, all your people, God. And um, by your stripes, we are healed. And so, and then I take the juice. So, you can find it online. Um, they also have the pre-filled cups. So, don't think it's just like at Easter time or something that you can take um, communion. He says, often as you do this, um, remember, do it in remembrance of me and what I did for you. So, Jesus, if you've never given your heart to Jesus, please give your heart to Jesus. Uh, it's the best, most important decision you'll ever make. And I just want to also be real with you guys. Um, going through a hardship can be a real test of your faith because this sign is about faith. And it's a great reminder, you know, no coincidence that I'm, I'm zooming in on this phrase because um, I will be honest, I have had low moments where... I am, it's emotional, right? It's, you have to battle your flesh and you have to look to the promises of God before you and know that he sees everything that you're going through and has numbered the very hairs on your head. He even counts your tears and saves them in his bottle. He has a bottle of your tears and knows exactly how many you've ever cried and will ever cry. And the best thing is, is that you don't have any more sorrow and suffering in heaven. But while we're here, we go through our trials and, the, you know, these difficult things, things and times of all different types, right? And maybe you're going through something, you know, right now or, you know, all of us go through something in life. 
But um, I just want to say, keep your eyes on Jesus. Fight the feelings of hopelessness as I have been doing and, you know, as God wants us to. He wants us to have a vision, you know, and have hope. Jesus, there's always hope with Jesus Christ and nothing's too difficult for God. And so even I, as a Christian who um, has been taught a lot in my walk with God, uh, and I give him all the glory, of course, um, I'm just a vessel and I thank him for anything I know. But even I, who had, you know, I've read a lot of the Bible um, and have studied a lot, but even I have my moments where I say, okay, Amanda, that's really not helping you right now. God doesn't want you to be negative. He doesn't want you troubled. He doesn't want you afraid. So stir up those feelings and get rid of them. Stir them up. Say, okay, I'm going to uproot you. I'm going to pull you out. And then I'm going to put in its place something new, some positivity, some hope, but always link it to Jesus. So meditate on scriptures. Read. I find that just reading the word um, just really helps give me energy and um, that positivity that I need. It's like recharging a battery. So that's how important it is to read the, the Bible. And we should do it every day. And um, honestly, I really wish I would have read it even more during my injury. So just taking that time out with God instead of having a zillion questions. And I've really done a lot of research on my injury and such. But um, I really wish I would have read even more of the word, um, although I am reading every day. But um, anyways, it's, it's a great thing to do because it keeps your mind off your current circumstances, right? And um, I heard a pastor one time say, eat your way out of trouble. <laughs> and he was talking about diving into God's word. So anyways, good stuff. And just wanted to share with you some of my human moments I've you know had to battle through my difficulty because this little thing right here, one little bone, section of a bone breaking, has affected so much in my life um, for about five weeks now. And um, I have a baby who's not even one and other children. And I just moved to this area, although I'm back and forth to my family and my other area I'm from. Um, I still, uh, you know, I don't have a lot of people I know around here when I'm here. So this was a very unforeseen surprise thing, but guess what? It was not a surprise to God. And that comforts me when I think, Amanda, he's shown you all these things. You know, you can say this to yourself too. God's made you all these promises, um, when he shares things with you. So you can, you can stand on his word, stand on his promises, and keep your eyes fixed to those things and heavenly things. But, but it also reminded me of, you know, you can't ignore that you have a problem either. But how the Bible talks about how we're many members. And if one member suffers, we all suffer. So just my one little section of a one foot bone being broken has affected my entire life, my all my activities, really. And so that's very, very good illustration, real life illustration here of how if one member suffers, we all suffer. And you can't tell one body part or another Christian is what it means that you don't need them. Like, I don't need this body part or that body part. Like, um, it, it, it will affect everything. So that's how important it is that the entire body of Christ work together in whatever way God wills. Um, I understand that we all can't shake hands and meet each other, etc. cetera, but um, we all should make intercession for each other. We should all be as individuals practicing our gifts, operating in the gifts. And that's my prayer right now is that myself included, we would be doing the will of God and using the talents, like the parable of the talents. We don't want to go bury our talents, hide them, you know, don't let your, don't hide your light. Let your light so shine before men. And if you haven't seen my other video yet, just say, cast your cares upon him because he cares for you, right? So anything we're going through, God, let us take a moment right now and say anything in our life, Jesus, we just hand it over to you. 
every little thing because you care about things even the things that we think are small unimportant god those things are big to you because you love us with an everlasting love so god help us to hand it over right now in this moment and we're asking you to make a way where there seems to be no way let us let our faith not be shaken god let our faith be rock solid because we're standing upon the rock, which is you, Jesus Christ. And that you said that when the winds and the waves would come, for anyone who built their house upon the rock, that it would not be destroyed. It would not be thrown down to the ground. So you are the rock, Jesus. And we thank you for that. So anything you're going through, I pray God's peace upon you. I pray that the assignments of the devil be arrested that they be cast away, bound up. God says, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And I pray that God um, would completely make obsolete any curse spoken against you, any negative words, and that in their place, he would put blessings. Because I'm really this season thinking about the power of words. And I've even had to catch myself and say, God, or hearing other people speak negative and say, God, help me to have you know, positive words, God, and uh, please cancel out any negative words. Sometimes we just, sometimes people have said things, you know, like every human has said something that was negative, even against their self and then their well-being. So God, help us to speak life, speak positive and change the way we think, change the way we speak, God, to make us holy and in line with your will. Amen. So I really love you guys. I just wanted to give another update. Um, walk by faith, not by sight. And get into your word. And don't forget this message. Because, me too. Because even when we come out of our trials, we don't want to forget what God has brought us out of. That's what my pastor preached recently. Um, before I got injured, she was saying, remember. It doesn't mean that we dwell in the past. It just means that we are in remembrance with gratitude to what God delivered us out of so that we learn lessons and we can help others and comfort others in their trials. So that's what it's all about is he makes us more than a conqueror and all things are possible with God. So let's love others. Let's not be all about ourselves. Let's do the will of God. And if you've never um, watched any of my videos, I am a prophetic dreamer and I share a lot of different kinds of videos on here when I get them, um, if I feel like spirit led to do so, but please go check out some of my dream videos, the rapture. I've had a lot of rapture dreams and um, dreams about the country and whatnot. And please go check those out, subscribe, share the videos as a witness to others for God's kingdom, for the glory of God 100%. And uh, do not let your hearts be tr troubled, neither let them be afraid, because we are living, you know, in the last days. Jesus said, I'll come back again, but God help us to be of good cheer, and we still have work to do, so let's tarry till he comes. And um, anyways, yes, please subscribe to the channel, um, hit the notification button, it's like a little bell logo, and it'll let you know, make it life a little easier for you whenever I post something. So I was starting to make more videos and then this happened and um, I said, you know, Amanda, even if it's not that easy to get around right now and everything and life has been kind of an adjustment, um, it'd still be nice to get on here and at least chat with you guys. And uh, I really miss being more active on here. So anyways, um, I did have a dream last, uh, not last night, a couple nights ago about Ivanka Trump she was talking about vaccines or something. I have no idea what it means. Um, I don't even know if I remember it fully. But um, there was something about, um, I saw her and then I saw the word Baptist. So I wasn't at all sure what the dream meant. I just know that's how I dreamed it. And um, she was talking about some kind of vaccine stuff. And... I tried researching anything with her and Baptist. I know she gave a big donation to a church a couple years ago for $50,000 as a Baptist church. 
but I wasn't quite sure what the dream meant. So anyways, just want to share that with you guys. I don't know if it'll make sense in the future or maybe it was about that donation she had made. But that was pretty much it in a more of a political or general type of dream that I've had lately. So, all right. Well, I love you guys and I'll see you sometime soon. God bless you.